So currently in meatpacking, meeting up with Odd by Mani. So we are going to record an episode of her um, style for success videos. So Manny, I'm super excited because it's always a good time watching those episodes of hers and well, all of her YouTube. But I like to see, you know, the banter between the girls and I'm like, oh, I'm lucky to be one of the girls this time. Yeah. So I'm going to her hotel and I'm going to probably be recording for like 45 minutes to an hour. Then afterwards, I'm going to try and make it to uh, Fashion Files offering coffee for everyone going through the New York Fashion Week craze. So I'm gonna try and stop by there. And then Dylan Lex is also having an event this evening. And I also have to pick up my work for the month, the pieces that I need to create some content with. So, yep, it's slightly busy. I'm so sorry, thank you so much. Um, but I'm having fun. This is day two of running around during the fashion week stuff, so. I'll see y'all in a little bit. I'll show y'all the setup when I get there. Such a nice camera. What? Look, Look at the clarity. Clear. <gasps> so you it's can do. My skin looks so good. It, and <laughs> this lighting, though, your hotel I know the lighting, room. Yeah. I'm loving it in here. Yeah. Your skin is good, though. Thank you. <laughs> like chocolate. I know that's right. But this is such a nice view. Yeah, I love I, that I they got you the on this corner. Bought me this today. It's I just me. Her. She surprised me at Pilates and was like, I got something for you. It's so good. It's really good. Wow. I told her, I'm like, I need to buy it. I've got how many cameras, but I need to buy that one too. No, she has a lot of cameras. Yeah. But I still I'm, I was in awe of it. I was like, ooh, what's that one? What's this Thank one? You. You're welcome. Oh, it's the button. Oh, look at this skirt. This skirt. Ooh, look at the loopy loop. Look at the loopy loop. Oh, wow. What is this with the little sleeves? Oh my God. Calf hair? Okay. Pimpin, pimpin. Pimpin. Oh, wow. I don't know. I'm still learning how to use this camera. It moves on its own. Look how tiny the screen is. Wow. Is that new? That's cool. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's so cool. Did you see the next Uh-uh. Oh, I need to try it on for you again. I'm buying it. You know, that, that's what happens. Yeah. When we, yep. I'll take a picture and post it. <laughs> this is what. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. 
left right when it was really really new. Yeah. And I wish I would miss it. We just got those earrings back today. Oh wow. Hmm. Are you trying to check the butt? Right. Are you trying to set that we need to be on set? Right. Listen, they're here. And the pearls too? Those are here too. Carolyn, your favorite person. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I can't. You're not a Swifty? I hate. I made this Swifty. book. And I was like, I have to put it in. Unfortunately. <laughs> Chose this. <laughs> no, but oh, you chose even, it. I don't think this was a selection when I worked That's with them. That's right. Oh, this well, is well I haven't worked with them yet. This okay. is so very I nice. I worked with them I about three years ago. ago. <laughs> no, this is nice, honey. You look good. Yeah. Girl. Girl. No, that's going to do very well. Okay, so I am headed out, heading out to the city. So yesterday I was running around. Um, so yesterday I went to see Monica from Odd by Moni and she was recording a YouTube episode for Style for Success. And I also went with her to Dylan Lex. I had, I thought I was going to have enough time to go to Fashion Files, Coffee, Cart prior to Dylan Lex, but we were talking and having a good old key. So we just like stayed at her hotel and then went to Dylan Lex. So today Fashion Files is still doing their, um, come by for a coffee event till I think five. So I'm just going to go over there, pop over, say, Hey, um, get some footage of what's new over there. I want to see what's new and come home and edit my YouTube video. That's due tomorrow because I definitely will not have any time, um, to really work on it in the morning. So I need to get it done tonight because I have something I'm doing tomorrow with Janae Naylor and a few other the girlies in the morning. So Anyway, I am wearing my Etern uh, mock neck bodysuit with, where are these pants from? Awake mode? My awake mode balloon, um, faux leather, patent leather pants with my Kate boots and my Banana Republic trench coat. The thing about the shoes that I wore yesterday, my feet are still swollen and hurting from them. So the Kate boots are actually one of the most... Um, comfortable heeled boots that I have in my closet so they will get worn today and I'll wear um I think I'm just gonna throw on my um my Fendi little uh, phone pouch bag and then rock with that but yeah so anyway I'm heading to the city and I'm gonna come right back home I'll probably pick up some Chick-fil-A on my way back but we shall see because my cycle is about to hit I could feel it in the air okay bye I'll see y'all later. This is so wild. Okay. Oh, like all the color. Black History Month. Say it again. Say that everybody doesn't get in. There's a certain celebrity that, that did not get in yesterday. Oh. I don't know when, but it was somewhere. She's from Brooklyn. She's a rapper. Yeah. And I went to high school, junior high school with her. And as black people, we have to start making our own joints and yeah. stop worrying about who's going to accept us. See me, I'm outside. Yeah. It's my block, it's my streets, my city. Word is born, smile. Word is born, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, so the building is cool, crazy because all the shows are happening in this building and the girls were like, the security girls were saying, no one can go in through this entrance. You have to have a QR code to scan in. Fashion Bob doesn't give you all codes. You just set your appointment, you walk in. But we're here now, and I just want to see what's new. Ooh, that is what's new. Well, how you doing? I like that a lot. All right, so we're here. Let's see if they have any, any treats for the coffee, because I already have a lot of energy. Got the treats and things. Let's see what's new on this wall. I like this green. Ooh. Show me a good time. Put some green in front of my face. China going on here today. 
all the girlies I think came yesterday. And then I sat down to see if any of my favorites were available and everything is sold out. So I'm gonna go and get the car and I'm going home. Let me explain something to you. I'm in this car with my Chick-fil-A. Jack it off, because I got the heat on. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm as happy as hell. And my period just landed. I'm going home. I'm literally watching the fashion shows from my phone. I'm fine. These people act like they ain't never seen somebody eating in their car before, first of all. Mind yawn. Anyway. I'm gonna finish up these fries. I'm gonna heat up the tenders when I get home. I'm gonna start working on my YouTube episode for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. All right, now. I feel like this is a perfect situation. Well, listen, I feel like it. Oh, why is it doing Girl, that? I was shocked because I asked you. I was like, oh, this is never seen a lot of people with the camera. Yeah. <laughs> and I. You, you did, did because he told Cassie about it. Cassie Thorpe told me. Oh, she's yeah. a, a YouTuber. Yeah, Cassie told me about it. And then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is so yeah. good. Like, like, these are people, so if I'm not ready, it's fine. No, it's fine. fine. These are. <laughs> yeah. I love this. <laughs> okay. Will you try to figure out seating? Yes, can you sit mm -hmm. there? Okay, in the front? Next to me. Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, I feel like I would rather push, 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 push the top like button to turn it on, and there's a red button right in the back. Hold up, let me get out of the background. Oh, sure. Okay, yeah. It's right. very nice. The music is not nice. in that car. So good. Oh, okay, so you don't care. And I already have one. This is the view Janae and I have from their hotel room. Yep. <laughs> Gorgeous. Okay, so it is Monday. I think the fourth week, fourth, the fourth day of fashion week. And funny thing is I'll pop up the video. Um, the other day, I was showing my outfit of the day. As you guys know, I'm doing an outfit every day of the month for um, Black History Month. And I had on this sweater by Zankov. And I met him and, um, well, I already met Rachel from Diotima last year, but I met him for the first time when they did a um, sample sale together a couple weeks ago. And... He was so nice and lovely and I saw that he was having a show and I did reach out but sometimes when you reach out to a designer's PR team like they don't they don't they don't care. The designer has to tell them like who they want to go there. So, you know, this is a really big deal. He's showing at um is it Stratley? The name of the place. But anyway, so I posted the video and I was like, I really want to go to y'all show. If anyone sees this, can, hello, I emailed. I just want to see the knits in, in real life, especially for fall. And called, this is my favorite sweater. <laughs> like, I wear this sweater all the time, y'all. And I was like, I want to come to your show. Like, I just want to see the knitwear for fall. Like, why not? I love you, right? Hits me up in DM. He said, Carolyn, yes, please come. And he sent me the invite. A screenshot of that shit. And I emailed his people again. I said, um... RSVP to uh, Zankov. Hello. And they said, yes, you are confirmed. They confirmed me twice. I'm like, yes. So here I am again, not even several days later with this sweater on, which is basically my situation. Anyway, I've been wearing this two, three times a week since I've gotten it, but I'm really excited. Um, obviously, not every fashion show invite is that simple. Like, I met with him before, you know, I think 
he and I connected um, really nicely and just really sweet guy, really nice like energy. Like, like you feel very at home with his type of energy. That's how I felt. Him and Rachel have that very home-like, very welcoming spirit about them. But anyway, I'm wearing his sweater with this uh, Y Project skirt and Bottega boots. I'm gonna throw on my trench, um, my tan trench, this one. And I'm just gonna, this thing is so heavy, it broke the hanger. Oh my God. It's a mess over here. It literally just broke this hanger. I'm gonna throw that away, that could cut us. Anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna put this baby on because his sweater, I have on like a long sleeve skims t shirt underneath. Um, but his sweater is so warm, like I'd be sweating in this sweater a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you, um, because the wool is so good. And then I have this trench coat on. I'm gonna put this here because I feel like the lapels are sticking out a bit too much for me. and to wear my Goyard um, and I think I'm gonna rock these sunglasses that I just got from Gucci via Walmart we'll talk about that later anyway um I was thinking of wearing a hat because it is chilly but I did slick my hair down pretty good so let me see Absolutely not. Okay, we're not wearing a hat today. Okay, just gonna see what I'm gonna spray some of Carlos's hairspray on my head because when he does that, his hair does not move, okay? But yeah, so maybe just the sunnies and there we go. Right? I mean, listen. Like I have the indoor sunglasses on. It's a vibe. The leg is out. She is greased up three different ways. Can't really tell. Maybe I should put some Vaseline on top of all of that, huh? Yeah. But anyway, yeah, I think this is the vibe. I'm a little. Yeah, I think I think this is fine. I'm just I'm. They're heavy, aren't they? Look how they make that line on me. I'm being really picky. But look at that. Is that bad? Oh. Or should it just. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, either way, I don't want to mess up my makeup too much. Oh, it didn't really get on there. Um, yeah, let me hairspray my hair and I'm going to skedaddle out of here. See y'all at the show. This is so cool. Oh my God. Thank you. Zanko, if you're watching, Thank you so much. Oh my God, I'm excited. All right, bye y'all. cookies so today is 
Tuesday. I've had to remind myself what day it is like several times because things are just happening so quickly. So anyway, um, I went to the Zankoff fashion show and presentation yesterday. So yeah, that was a treat to, you know, experience and attend. And honestly, like it gave me the confidence booster also to just like speak up. You know, you never know who's listening, who's watching, but also like next fashion week season, I'm going to reach out in a timely fashion so I can, you know, do all the things that I would, will try to do all the things I would like to do and be a part of. But anyway, I love the collection. There's so many knits and like knit dusters and dresses that he had on display that I was just like, First of all, I'm going to be so cozy in the fall wearing this stuff. But anyway, um, so today I had client calls. I was like, great, it's going to be an admin day. Let me catch up on all my things. I have projects to submit, blah, 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 all this stuff. And then my mentor, she was my mentor when I was um, in the buying program at Saks in 2000. 10. Um, we stayed in touch. She's like my big sister. And she hit me up early and was like, you know, I'm sick as a dog. I have an invitation um, for me to attend the Luar fashion show. Can you go? Can you just take, take my place? And I'm sitting there looking like without the, any of this even on. And I'm like, well, heck yeah. So I'm currently getting ready. The show is at 9 p.m. I said, does he not know that the the demographic that loves in it, we're 30 and over crew, 9 p.m. is late, baby boy. 9 p.m. is late. So, it's fine. Come on, focus, 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 focus. So, literally, I don't know what I'm going to wear. I, I don't own anything from Luar just as yet, but I did really love his last runway. Um, and a lot of pieces from, especially the outerwear, y'all. And, um, so I, I'm like, uh oh, what do I wear? It's snow on the ground. It's cold outside. Good news is the show is in Brooklyn. So it's not that far from where we live and it's not like crazy far in an Uber or whatever. I'm going to, I'm going to take an Uber. I'm not going to drive. I'm sure the snow covered the car. Anyway, um, so I'm going to get ready. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to wear. I'm thinking I might wear my Aknavas coat, but I don't know if that's like too loud and noticeably Aknavas. Like, I don't want to wear another designer stuff and it like be known. It's a, do you get what I mean? Like, I wish I had something of his that would, you know, show respect and honor of his show, but I don't have anything you are so I'm gonna have to figure this out so I'm thinking I might just wear that with like a split legging and a pair of black heels because I, I feel like his aesthetic is very like sexy but with like edge um I do feel like this coat is very him in a way um but we'll see I'll get back to y'all when I finish my makeup and I'll show you what I'm wearing and we'll go to the show
you guys the last like 24 hours of my life have been so wild not wild but just like whoa I wasn't expecting this like y'all okay first of all let me run it back to Monday real quick so went to the Zankov show I don't know if I have any video where I talked about my hold on I need my I need a little matcha or something um I don't know if I talked about my thoughts for the Zankov show but either way love the presentation love the simplicity and the effectiveness of the space and that it was a, sh a runway walk through show and also a presentation at the end so you can actually go up see the items closer and all the knits just looked beautiful honestly like he does knits very well and i was speaking with um chloe she's a fashion girly she's be she be out there okay um that, chloe be at all the shows okay i'll post a picture in her instagram check her out because i love her style very unique personality and dresser but anyway she was just like ever since him and rachel of diotima won the award last year they just been going off showing off doing the girls crazy like their collections were really beautiful um but again i was not expecting to go to the zankov show that was such a blessing that was a nice situation i was like dang i'm really lucky i'm a lucky girl so really it's it's funny because at the top of this fashion week i was just like listen i didn't really prepare well i'm not trying to you know go crazy i'm not gonna feel bad if i don't get to go to anything it's fine i prefer to stay home you know i it is what it is i'll pop out in september i'll do my best in september <laughs> this fashion week if anything happens fine if it doesn't okay cool i'm in the house and that was not expected, the Zankov show. And then Tuesday comes and I was like, for sure, I'm in the house all day. Admin, meetings online, I'm in the house, I'm staying, I'm going to look busted today. And then my mentor, I don't want to name her name because the other day, like I posted something saying thank you. She was like, I'm not going to repost it because I don't want the ops to know. But my mentor from back in the day when I was a young buck, um, hit me up. She was like, listen, I have a terrible cold. I have tickets to a Luar show. I have a ticket to the Luar show. Can you go instead of me? And I was like, oh my God, what? First of all, why are you sick? Like, I don't like that for you. I felt bad she was sick. But I was like, sure, I'll, I'll go. You know, like, oh my God. So I looked at the CFDA calendar before she sent me the confirmation. I see that the show is at nine o'clock and I'm like, Luar definitely likes to have a good time. His show is at 9 p.m. on a Tuesday. He really trying to go up on Tuesday. So she sent me the invite and she has a seat. So I'm like, okay, cool, this is cool. And I was like, oh, and it's in Brooklyn. It's not far from my house. So I was like, all right, this is a bet. I get ready, I'm like, 9 p.m. I, I know it's not gonna start on time, but I'm gonna get there right on time. So I get dressed, I show you guys the outfit. Um, no, I didn't get to show you guys the outfit. I was getting my makeup prepared. I'll put, I'll put up what I wore, but threw on a no pants, pants look and ran out the door in that big old coat. No ID, no car. I didn't realize it until I got to this space. I was like, oh shit, that's not good. But anyway, um, get there and where the show was located, I wish I took video, but at the same time I couldn't because I was wearing stiletto heels and the street was so broken up and damaged. Like you would have thought it was cobblestone, but it wasn't, it was not supposed to be cobblestone. So there's, there's trucks and all this other stuff pulling up to the space. And I see like the line, the barricaded line. There's not really anyone outside except for like photographers and press. So as it's like this big old Cherokee truck is pulling up to one of the doors or whatever, I'm using it for stabilization so my ankles don't freaking break in, in, in case I step into like a crack or whatever. And I come around now, finally I'm at the barricade. I'm holding on to the barricade. And I see that the press has their own space and then general admission has another line. And I see all the press people on the general line. And I'm like, why are they over here? I'm trying to get through. Come on, like my stiletto pumps and out. I can't walk through. And I look on the other side of the same truck I was just holding on to. Who comes out the car? Julius, Beyonce's bodyguard. 
Now I've seen Julius with Tina Knowles, Miss Tina Knowles before. So I'm like, oh, I know I've, I've seen this relationship where Solange and Raul from Luar, the, the designer of Luar, hang out as a group. Um, and I'm like, oh, maybe it's Mama Tina, you know? And I look at, at, at Julius, I'm like, is Beyonce here? And out pops Beyonce with this cowboy hat on and the drips and all the th all the things dro dropping from her um I can't even talk I can't even talk but in my mind I was like wow that's really cool that she's here like they're really connected with Lou I love this for him and so in my mind I'm like she's probably not even going to come out and sit with us like it's too open of a concept even though they're seats you know it's these, these are we are all the children that went crazy at the Renaissance tour. Like I don't think it's safe for her to just be with Julius and then she pop out and sit with it. Like I think this would be a frenzy. So I'm like, that's really cool. I got to see her head <laughs> because you barely saw anything else. So I go in quietly. I say that my name is a different name because of the ticket, and I sit down. I'm with some other people from her company as well. And um, Chloe ends up sitting next to me. And my homegirl Ivory was supposed to be there, but she didn't make it. She was supposed to sit right next to me. Like my seat was F14. She was F15. I was like, that's insane. And she loves Beyonce. And I know she doesn't, she's, she's upset that she didn't make it to the show. Of all the shows that she's been to with Luar, she didn't make the show. And I know that she's really mad about it. And I wish she was there. But listen there will be another situation where she gets to see Beyonce up close and personal. I don't know if she saw if she's done that before, but I want Ivory to have a moment again like that. But anyway, so I'm sitting there and people are like, I heard Beyonce supposed to be here. And I was like, well, I did see her go backstage. So she's, she's here, but I don't, I don't know if she coming out here. Y'all like, come on. So I'm sitting, I'm sitting, I'm waiting and people are like buzzing Beyonce, Beyonce. I'm like, y'all, y'all need to stop because she might not even come out here with y'all going nuts like this. And then the show starts to quiet down and starting to prepare to have the models walk through the runway. And I see commotion on my right hand peripheral. And I'm like, I know for a fact these models are not coming through this door. It's too crowded with all the press. The press is facing the other direction. And I tell the guy and I tell Chloe next to me and I'm like, y'all better get y'all cameras ready. Beyonce's about to come out. I can feel the energy. Something's about to happen with this doorway. My battery's about to die. And Beyonce pops out with Julius, her mom, and a friend of hers. And they sit literally two, like, basically like six feet away from where we're sitting. I can see her. I wish I could smell her. I couldn't smell her. I really want to know what that perfume smells like. And I am bewildered. Everyone went crazy. I sat down. I'm not going to lie to you. Like I was calm because I'm like, I, I feel like this is overwhelming. This is overwhelming to her. And then we saw the video of Miss Tina Knowles grilling the shit out of everybody that was not giving them space. So, and then come to find out, her nephew is modeling this show. I love that. So she was there to support Solange was there too. I didn't notice she was there until after I left. And it was a beautiful show. I thought the concept was really dope. Really beautiful pieces. I love the coats. He does coats really well. He even has a collaboration with Moose Knuckles, which I thought was really dope as well. Moose Knuckles had like a bunch of people in their coats and they had their own section at the show, which was really cool too. Quasi, my friend, was a part of that group. Um, but the show was phenomenal. And then at the end, that's when I got up to try to get my video of the queen herself. And it was, I, I think I did a pretty good job of getting a moment. It was so cool, y'all. I was like, wow. I really wasn't even trying to be out here in these streets during fashion week and the Lord said, no, my child, I'm going to need you to pop out for a few things, please. And then today, I am slow. I want y'all to know that y'all cookie is slow, okay? I'm going to tell y'all why I'm slow. My battery about to die, so I'm about to just record on my, on my phone. Hold on. Okay, so yesterday, I believe... One of my um one of the reps that oversees the fragrance company um Mind Games, he oversees the PR and communications. Oh, are you okay? Are you okay? Okay, hold on. I'm so sorry. We um let me just pivot. <laughs> I don't want you knocking your head around and whatnot. Hold on, let me get you straightened out. But he hit me up 
and was like, hey, do you want to go to this? And I look at the invite and it says, <laughs> I'm so damn slow. The brand is PH5 and it says fashion presentation, but it also said come knit with us. It is a knitwear brand. So I'm like, oh my God, that's so cool. They're, they're giving a knitting class. So I'm like, I'm ready to go. It says from 3 to 5 p.m. I'm like, all right, I'm going to learn how to knit today. This is dope. This is a great way to like wind down for the New York Fashion Week frenzy, even though I didn't really have much of a frenzy going on. But I was like, yeah, I'm a little tired, you know? The little bit I did do, I'm a little exhausted, okay? I, I want to get a massage after this shit, right? My feet hurt. So I wake up late today. I make the video about... Um, why content creators and influencers change up. I was really nervous about it because like, first of all, I asked Carlos to wake me up early. He doesn't wake me up at all. I find out that I'm waking up late and I'm like, damn it. And I completely forgot it's Valentine's Day. So I get up, I hurry up, try to get my face together. I look really tired in that video because I'm super tired. And I make the video and I don't have enough time to watch it all the way through again after I edited it. And I was very nervous about posting it at 12 p.m. on the Wednesday, right? I would like to post on the days that I post Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. And I was just like, no, I need to watch it again, but I'm late for my hair appointment. I'm late for everything today. So I get to the hair appointment. I'm like five minutes late for that. Yes, I know that's not a big deal. I just don't like being late. I like being 10 minutes early for everything. Okay, guys, it's just my thing. It's my thing. If you're on time, you're late. If you're early, you're on time. You know what I mean? Okay, anyway, um, I learned that as a brag, Black Retail Action Group intern. Anyway, get to the salon. Lorraine talking about she gonna get me out by 110-ish. I was like, when she, whenever she give me a time, is she gonna get me out? It's it's not, she don't, it don't work, it don't work. I leave there at two, the event is at three. I wanted to get home, kind of zhuzh up, change, and also try to rewatch the video so I could post it for y'all. So I get home and I watch the beginning of the video a little bit, like I listen to it, I make a thumbnail for it, and I'm just like, man, now nah, I gotta go, I gotta go. This thing starts at three, I don't wanna be late for this class. I throw on a different pair of pants, throw on my boots, and I'm out the door. And it's windy as shit. I'm mad because I'm like, oh my God, if you get sick again, little girl, I'm gonna beat you up. I'm gonna beat myself up if I get sick again with my pores all open and I'm outside. Anyway, I see I ran one into my cookies outside in the streets downtown in New York. And then I get into the building and I'm like, oh, I'm here for the PH5 event. I probably said class to the girl. Check in and then I see Ghetto Gastro has a... Um, a cafe in this space. And so I go over there and I'm like, oh, this is nice. And someone asked me, oh, what show are you guys here for? And I'm like, I don't know what show they're here for. I'm here for a knitting class. <laughs> everyone's dressed in PH5. And I'm just like, this is so nice. Like everyone's ready for this knitting class and we're they're looking cute. And I'm over here just trying to be calm, cool and collected and casual, okay? I don't have anything from PH5. I like their stuff a lot, but I just, I haven't gotten around to getting anything from them. So I get in the line. I don't get anything from the cafe. I'm like, I'm gonna get this after the class. I hope this still open when I come out. So I get into the elevator. I was like, oh, what, what floor is this? I was like, are you guys here for the knitting class? And this girl who's dressed in PH5, I think they dressed her. She was like, They're, it's a show. And I was just like, this is a show? So we're not knitting anything today. They said, come knit with us. We're not knitting anything. This is a fashion show. Again, I'm like blessed with another opportunity to, to, to experience the New York Fashion Week show. I'm not gonna lie. I really wanted to learn how to knit today. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was really looking forward to knitting and I was late. So I was just like stressed and like frazzled looking. And I was like, this whole time, I thought this was a knitting class from three to five today. Lo and behold, it's a fashion show. I'm putting the clips from the show so y'all can see it.
yeah, I, I am, I'm slow. <laughs> it's such a cool concept. We had to wear footies and stuff to protect the, um, the carpet. It looked like a, like a flashback of a 1980s office space. It was a cool concept. Like just to see and the way that the models were chilling. I was like, are they in the show? Or are they with us? Like what is, what is going on? Oh, they're in the show. I was confused the entire time. I'm so happy that I got to go and see it in person. There were some pieces I really liked and I'm like, Ooh, that's cute girl. Um, I'll be talking to the models y'all. I don't know if that's allowed, but like, I'll tell them like, you look so nice. I love this on you. Like I, I can't help myself. You know, I really do. I love a good look on somebody and I can't help but tell them. And I know that they didn't probably pick it out themselves, but they look nice and it's like, I just want to let them know. And I'm like, do I make them break out of character? Is that allowed? Am I going to get in trouble? <laughs> Are they going to get in trouble for laughing? But yeah, it was cute. It was nice and short. And I was like, oh, okay. So I'm going home now. So I have a few hours to myself. So I'm going to pick up the apartment, put it back together again a little bit as best as I can. And we have Valentine's Day dinner tonight, me and Carlos at 8.30. So I'm going to calm my ass down. Y'all, I can't believe, I can't believe how my mind works sometimes. But it's that come knit with us. I thought I was going to be knitting, man. I, wanna, I still want to learn. I'm going to find a class. How about that? Um, I'm going to tell the PR guy what I thought it was and maybe they can create an event out of it. I think people would go. I would pull up. I, I pulled up today. I thought I was going to be knitting. So anyway, I'm going to put away our clothes and stuff that we just been throwing around the house. Um, and I'm just going to, I don't even know what I'm going to be wearing for dinner tonight. It's cold. It's brick outside. I'll probably wear my big old furry white coat that I've been living in. I, I feel glamorous wearing that coat, okay? I woke up today, I said, you know, I'm gonna wear this white coat over this black outfit because I saw Beyonce last night, okay? We breathe the same air. I hope we don't get COVID. Anyway. I'll show y'all where we go to dinner and then we'll wrap it up. I guess this is my New York Fashion Week video. I didn't think I was really going to have a full video for that. I thought it was just going to be a week uh, a, a week in the life type of thing. But this was a little bit more fashion forward than I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to lie to you. So I'm glad that it went down that way. My dad was like, the, the fact is that you really started off this week saying that you wasn't trying to go outside and that you were fine staying home. And you ended up having one of the most eventful things. <laughs> I said, I know. Talk about manifestation and just going with the flow. Wow, guys. I'm excited. I'm excited for the next one. Not going to front. But yeah, I'll catch you on the flip side. I'll show you the restaurant. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's called Reina. In the city, it's Mediterranean. And I love me some Mediterranean food. So... I'll catch y'all later, okay? Bye, guys.